Uh, well, here we are again. Um, uh, we're about to do the, the show here in Los Angeles uh, on a day where yet another lunatic uh, goes on yet another rampage with yet another gun and more people are dead. So um, it is not a great day for America. I will not be saying that uh, as we start the show, but it is my job to... Uh, ignore the news as much as possible and try and make you laugh. I'm a, I'm a human being and I see news and it affects me. Um, so uh, I hope you'll bear with us and uh, see it as no disrespect or callousness to continue with our show tonight. Uh, our thoughts, of course, with those that are dealing with the monstrous events that occurred today in Washington. We'll see you after the break. That's enough. That's great, everybody. Sit down, relax. You have made the warm-up comedian look awesome. <laughs> it was. I love. I could hear him. I could hear him before he goes. We're going to have a great time. Everyone's going to be on your feet. We're going to be standing. We're going to be clapping. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like summer camp or something. <laughs> Everyone's going to be wearing bug spray. It's going to be super duper. No swimming, no swimming 20 minutes after you've eaten. No, ja, you right. don't do that. No swimming until you've... No, it's like 45 minutes Is after it now 45? Yeah, it's 40. It's, they moved it up. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wow. I think it's now a day. I think you have to not eat for a day before you swim. A full day? Yeah, a full day. Wow. Now, that's what it is. You have to use crack and meth to keep yourself... Well, that's I'm science. I've gone too far. That's yeah, science too for far, you. Man. You know what I see at the weekend? The big competition at the weekend. Were you watching? I was watching it. Like, you know, you know, I was glued to my seat. I was sweating one minute, laughing the next. Then I turned on the TV, because I've been like that. <laughs> I've been like that since I took acid. <laughs> I mean, you, you think I'm talking about the Mayweather fight, don't you? Yeah, oh, yeah. You, you yeah. watch the Mayweather fight? Oh, yeah. You see when Mayweather came out with Justin Bieber? Oh, man. <laughs> see, if I ever come out, I'm coming out with Justin Bieber as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Technically, I don't know if that's coming out, though, no, is it? No. Do you walk out with Justin Bieber and like, I'm going to kick your ass, and here's Justin Bieber. <laughs> like, what the hell are you doing? Come on, man. It was an amazing fight, though, Floyd uh, Mayweather and the guy that he hired. <laughs> nah, it was fine. It was really, it was a nail-biter. I didn't know who was going to win until I turned on the TV. You always pick the fighter that comes out with Bieber. Always. That's the rule. Always. Anyway, I'm not talking about that competition. I'm talking about the other big competition at the weekend. Miss America, we're going to have a great time. We're going to stand on our feet. <laughs> We've got a new Miss America, Nina Davaluri. Nina, da Nina Davaluri. The first uh, Miss America of Indian American heritage. A lot of people say having an Indian American, Indian American Miss America is a sign of progress, and I think it is. We should pat ourselves on the back for objectifying women without regard to ethnicity, don't you yeah. think? Yeah. It doesn't matter if you're black or brown, where you're from or where your people are from. It doesn't matter how you got here, what matters is the size of your breasts. <laughs> That's just my opinion. Maybe Indian Americans feel differently, like, her milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the Miss America organization says it wants to give uh, the opportunity to young, talented women. And that's great. Unfortunately, the opportunity is having your boobs judged by douchebags in Atlantic City. <laughs> And I know how that feels, don't yeah, you, Jeff? Yeah, yeah. When we walk around Atlantic City and they're all like, look at him. <laughs> yeah, I walk around with Justin Bieber so people don't frighten me. <laughs> they see me and they're like, oh, that guy's got Justin Bieber with him. He must be tough. Yeah, he's... I want to fight that guy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the big controversy in the pageant this year was that Miss Kansas had tattoos. 
I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna get tattoos. The judges were acting all shocked when they revealed their tattoos during the swimsuit competition. I'm like, the signs were there earlier in the pageant when she said her interests were long walks on the beach and meth. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I'm not trying to say that everyone who's got tattoos is into meth. I have five tattoos and I'm not into meth. Yeah. I watched Breaking Bad a little bit, but that's only because you have. Right. I had, I had my share of tattoos and, well. Well, you don't have any skin now? <laughs> it's because I did meth, man. Oh. <laughs> You see, that's what happens, kids, if you do meth. You get, yeah, that's what will happen. So just, yeah. Yeah. And you, do that with your eyes again. I'm just blinking. Just had something in my eye. Sorry about that. I know what you got in your eyes. Bulbs. <laughs> yeah. Put bulbs in my eyes. Yeah, you got bulbs in your eyes. Yeah. I find that. <laughs> Anyway, look, when I mean, they were giving the girl a hard time for the tattoos, I'm like, I don't see what the big deal is. I thought Miss Kansas' tattoos were beautiful. One of them very nicely placed. Do we have a picture? There it is. Look at that, right there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been warmed up by the warm-up comedian. Yeah, yeah. I'm now clapping longer than I would like to. I just can't help myself. We're going to have a good time. We're going to give everyone a standing ovation, regardless of whether you like them or don't like them. Nobody eat for 45 minutes <laughs> before you swim. Anyway, Miss America's main competitor is, of course, the Miss USA pageant that's run by Donald Trump. And Trump said that Miss Kansas's tattoos made her look silly. <laughs> he stuck his head into a cotton candy machine to whip up a fresh batch of hair. How could yeah. he? Yeah. <laughs> Think big, kick ass. <laughs> See, when you play with that little pen when I'm out here talking to the camera, are you grading the jokes? But there aren't really jokes. There's like one or two jokes and the rest of it's just me, you know, filling time between commercials. That's really what it is. So what are you writing down? You writing letters to people? He's applying for other jobs. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. Doing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh-huh. I know. <laughs> Give me your back. Like, Dear Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> I think you're really lovely. Uh, Gosh, it would be easy for me to work on your show because I would understand you because you don't have a stupid accent like, like Mr. Stupid and a stupid skeleton and I hate them! <laughs> <laughs> who else are you writing to? Yeah. Who, el who else do you think he would apply to a job to oh, on TV? Go on, go on. Ellen? Go oh, Ellen. Ellen. Yeah, yeah. Ellen. Yeah, Ellen. <laughs> nah, nah, I don't think he'd write to no, Ellen. No, no. Conan, maybe. Conan, Conan yeah, 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 yeah. Dear Conan, you're a, you do the letter to Conan, here. All right, all right. All right. Here, here. <laughs> Just do it with your ad. Dear, dear Conan, I want to get as far away from network television as possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe, uh, may, I know what you could do. Give me the pen. <laughs> Give you the pen. Yeah, I need the yeah. pen for this. <laughs> Dear Arsenio. Man, it's been a long 19 years. I'm so glad you're back. Can I come back to work for you again? He used to work on Arsenio. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah, watch this. Woo. See? Oh, my God. This is unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> What's up? Did you have a good weekend? What were you doing? Translate into Morgan Freeman's thought thing. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, I spent the weekend partying with Arsenio. <laughs> Arsenio doesn't really party anymore. He's kind of a family man now, isn't he? Yeah, I did all the partying, you know, just hanging so what out. What you're saying is you were partying over the weekend, Arsenio wasn't there, and you were just home alone doing blow. <laughs> you got it, man. Thanks for blowing my cover, jackass. <laughs> What the hell? Oh. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back.
Excuse me a second, would you? You can do in my mind what yeah, I'm writing on. You're writing a letter. I'm writing a letter. So, like, well, it'll be in a movie. I'll be writing a letter, and you do the voice, my voice. Right. And it'll be, like, what I'm writing. Okay. All right. Dear Jay Leno. <laughs> no, that's not, that's not it? But, no, that's it. But just, uh, why do you always make my voice so high? No, it's I don't fine. think my voice is as high as that. No, no, it's a characterization. Man. All right. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> Dear Jay Leno. Don't, don't worry, I didn't do the chin thing in your voice while writing this letter. I'm wondering how your retirement is going. He's not retired yet. Oh, wait, I'm arguing with myself. He's not retired yet. <laughs> Sorry about that. My robot had me say that you were retired. This is very difficult to follow, isn't it? Yeah, keep it? going. Yeah, yeah, all right, then. Jeff Peterson is the greatest sidekick no, in the history no, of... No, no, no! What the hell, man? No, man. No, you used it to further advance your own career in Hollywood. You're, oh, you, I mean, you, all you Hollywood types do that. Yeah, I'm gonna go hang out with Jay Leno. That's gonna further my career, yeah. <laughs> it, it might, it might. We... Look, he could use parts from his cars to enhance your... You think you could stick a jet engine in your ass or something? He could you'd put be, my head I, on the hood of one of his cars. You could, he could put your head on the hood of some kind of Duesenberg 1948 yeah, yeah. whack bucket, and you'd be off, man. Whack bucket, by the way, that's the... That's, you danced under that name. I did dance under that. <laughs> that's a movie I accidentally am going to write tonight. Whack Bucket Ferguson. Whack Bucket. Yeah. What time is it, Jeffrey? Pitt? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who enjoys having his breasts judged by douches. <laughs> and now we speak in a German dialect. <laughs> we are still speaking German. Play the thing. This is from Jackie in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Uh, NM, that's New Mexico. It is New Mexico. That's New Mexico, NM? yeah. It's not Norman Mailer? No, no. Uh, all right, because Norman Mailer isn't sending no, no, right. emails. No. He's dead. <laughs> oh, that's right, laugh. Uh, <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, why is it that when I'm sick I want to eat soup and otherwise I never want to eat soup? Wow. Mm. That's one of the eternal questions. <laughs> so I like to eat soup sometimes when I'm not sick. Can't think of any time, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this is from Maximilian in Bonn in Germany. <laughs> Hooray! Hello there. Hello again. Yeah. We are still speaking German. Not a dialect, so... No. No, it's not a dialect of German. It's sort of just a bad German impression. Yes, we will continue to beat this bit into the ground until you are crying. <laughs> you know, the option is, of course, you could always change the channel or pay for cable. <laughs> but remember, I don't give a rat's ass. But, Craig, surely you... No. <laughs> this must be some kind of... No. <laughs> it's just a... It's not. <laughs> Maximilian in Bonn, Germany says, Dear Craig, in case you were wondering, some people in Germany do like your German accent. <laughs> the implication being that many do not, I think. Yeah. <laughs> well... Take it from me, Germans. There's a couple of things you have done in the fairly recent past that I'm not so crazy about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take that, topical shows. 
<laughs> All right, this is from Lauren in Manchester, New Hampshire. You ever been there? Oh, yeah. Nah, I yeah. love it there. What's your favorite part of Manchester? Oh, the clouds are beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> beautiful. <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, do you think we're all products of our parents' beliefs, or do we have free will to despite them? Or free will despite them? Well, let's see. My parents were swingers. <laughs> I'm saying the opposite. The complete opposite of what's true. My parents were Scottish Presbyterians. <laughs> There's no swinging in Scottish Presbyterian. <laughs> Here's swinging in Scottish Presbyterianism. I think I'll take my coat off. <laughs> We'll have to get... Call an intervention! He's taking his coat off! He's sex-crazed! What's all this about you taking your coat off? Then? Look, we've come to talk to you because we've heard stories around the town that you've been taking your coat off. In front of your own child? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You were there. Yeah, right. It's right. like you yeah. were there. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. I think I'll take my coat off. Hey, you take your coat off, we'll have some soup. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now we're talking a kind of loose lifestyle, aren't we? Hey, loose. Ah, yeah. Let's be very Scottish for a minute. Okay. I mean, let's be so Scottish that even I don't understand what we're saying. Right, all right, all right. Uh, you from here, I'm gonna it. Okay, look, I'm off thing. Oh, you're here! See ya! You're here! You're funny here! Oh, you're here! You're here! Oh, you're here! 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 you My first guest tonight is a very beautiful and talented actress. Her movie, The Family, is in theatres now. Take a look at this. <laughs> Diana Agron, everybody! Diana Agron! <laughs> Hello, Diana! I'm very well. How are you? Are you being nice to me because you just saw a clip of me beating up a boy? This may come as a surprise to you, but I am often nice to beautiful women. <laughs> well, that's nice. I am also European, though, so you can hit me with a tennis racket and I may enjoy it. <laughs> Did you make that film in France? We did. Oh, it's lovely there, isn't it? We did. It? So pretty. Paris mm. and Normandy for oh, three months. Oh, lovely. Rough. Mm. How, how long were you there? Three months. Oh, my God. And I'm stuck here. <laughs> Do you speak French? Um, petit peu. Mm-hmm. <laughs> did you get a chance to look around Europe where you were making the film, or did you just stay in France? I did, I did. I, I went to London a couple of times. I went to the south of France. So you went to London and you went to France. So, no. South of France. South of France. North of France. You could only really go Amsterdam as well. Oh, yeah, I'm in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> did you have any baked goods when you were in Amsterdam? I don't know what you're talking about. Mm, well, you'd know what I'm talking about. <laughs> like, mm-mm-mm. <laughs> Little cookie, maybe a little cookie. <laughs> I'll just try There's one. There's a horse in a stall over there. Yeah, that's that's not really happening. You just had a lot of cookies. <laughs> that's not true. I'm kidding you. <laughs> so you went right. That's lovely, though. Did you like? Did you take the train? I love. You taking... take the train. Yes. Yeah. yeah I know. Yeah. I've been to Europe many times. Oh, I know. Yeah. I can hear that about you. Yeah, yeah. You probably thought I was German. Uh uh. <laughs> No, I think you're very proud to be Scottish. I am. Well, I'm very proud to be American and Scottish. I'm American now. Yeah. Are you American? I am. Yeah, I thought you were. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you think that? You've got nice teeth. Oh, so do you. 
I was at the dentist today, actually. My mouth's a bit hurty. I haven't gone in years. You can't look at you. That's it's not, not possibly good. true. You you have to go like once a week with mm. teeth like that. <laughs> no, I. No, I really should go. Really? Yeah. Open your mouth. Let me see your teeth. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> And remember though, that's a Scotsman saying it, so if, like, if I can see teeth, I'm like, you're ahead of the game! <laughs> that's amazing. It's true. Wow, may I ask yeah, you yeah. about, that is a very interesting piece of jewellery. It looks Indian almost. Two rings. Oh, are, is, that's lovely, and it's on... Can we just, uh, can you isolate this finger so that we can... <laughs> oh, I just want to see the rings! Oh, you're a fan! Man, you're a fascist. <laughs> he won't let you show the, the finger which is isolated with the rings on it. Like, for example, I have a ring on this finger right, right here. That's you changed that. No, Did from you... when we just met. <laughs> You've changed, man. I feel like you slipped it over just to do that. No, no, it's too big for this finger, and it's well, it could go on that finger, I guess, but then I'd look like one of those guys. <laughs> Guys. You know, the guys that wear their fingers. Those They're, guys? What, what guys? The horse. The horse doesn't wear rings. It has hooves. <laughs> do you do you ride horses? I went riding yesterday. Did you really? I did. What kind of horse riding do you do? Do you do uh, the, like, wear a little black outfit and a top hat? No. Just say yes. Yes. Oh, okay, thanks. And okay. any other type of horse riding? Well... They're polo horses and they're English saddles, so I'm Whoa. trying to learn that. It's much more difficult yeah, than Western. Yeah, yeah, yeah. English saddle's much harder. You just get, get an American saddle. It's like putting a sofa in the back of the horse. <laughs> You're just hanging Yeah, out. you got that big thing in the middle. You just hang on to it and off you go. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, in the film, there's you and uh, Robert De Niro, up-and-coming yeah. young actor. How'd you get on with him? He's good. Yeah, I've heard that. He's I'll good. wait and see. I want a couple a more, more performances. All right. Yeah, see how it works All out. All right. Who else is in it? Susan Michelle Sarah? Pfeiffer. Michelle Pfeiffer. Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah, yeah. Heard of all of heard them. Heard of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Were they grumpy with you? Tommy Lee Jones is very grumpy. No, he wasn't. Yeah, with you, maybe not so much. <laughs> it depends on who you are, though. You probably think men are really nice and well behaved quite a lot of the time. I don't think that. You don't think that? No. <laughs> I'm sure they behave themselves a little bit more around you. You know. Where are you from originally? San Francisco. Oh, I see. So... <laughs> so a lot of men weren't right, really that interested then, is what I'm saying. Am I offending everybody in the world tonight? <laughs> it's bad. I've got it bad tonight. What part of San Francisco are you from? Burlingame. It's about 10 minutes south. No, I don't know that, but I, I like San Francisco, though. It's lovely. It's Do you ever go to the Mythbusters? They're up there. No, I haven't. You should go there. They blow it up. It's amazing. Well, that is fun. Do you enjoy blowing stuff up? We blew some stuff up in the film. In the film? Yeah. We did. What did you blow up? Buildings. Did you blow up that People's little French heads. actor there that was coming over to you? Was that actor yeah. French? He was. Really? Yeah. Does he not look French? No, he looked a bit too ginger. <laughs> I mean, I suppose you get gingers, Frenchies, I suppose. <laughs> but all the um, extra things on his face, those were fake. So I feel kind of bad. He had a lot of acne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not his acne. <laughs> I think I should clarify that for him. <clears throat> well, the thing is, you know, he might have acne and it might go... He might have acne by now. Did you ever get acne when you were a kid? Yes. Really? Of course. How was that? And braces. Acne and braces? All those things. Really? Yeah. Well, I was I was beautiful when I, I was a teenager. I believe this. I believe this. No, it, don't. We have to take a commercial break. <laughs> Fine. I don't know what we're... Uh, I don't know what we're doing. Why are we commercial breaking tonight? You don't know? You don't even check? I think it's probably boner pills in the sham wow. It usually is. <laughs> Do you need a shamwell? No. Sure. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> Everybody, uh, we were just, you know, talking. 
about things. About things and stuff. What did you do when you were in London? Where did you go? Everywhere. You kind of gone everywhere. I went everywhere. Really? Well, what was really funny is that because um, when you're in France, you're you know a lot of people speak English and you're trying to speak some French, but I would get off the train and all, all of a sudden I would be very relieved and it wouldn't click until later that I can understand everybody. Right, we're all talking understand. like that, isn't I? Yeah. It's all like, welcome to England, all right? We don't speak French here, girl. No. <laughs> that was really good. I lived for quite some time in London, actually, Did as you? it happens, as it goes. <laughs> yeah. Doing Oliver, the musical. Yeah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> can I have some more? I talk like this the whole time. My friend Russell Brand talks a bit like this. <laughs> Have you ever met Russell? Uh-uh. He'd like you. <laughs> yeah. He would. He's lovely. He's English. Yeah. 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 Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> you never went to Scotland, though. I've been to Scotland once. Really? Yeah. When? A few years ago. I see. I was so sick that I didn't see anything. Were I... you undercover or something at the time? <laughs> I had an 104 degree temperature and I was only there for a few days, so... Wow, what was wrong with you? I, uh, a lot. <laughs> Were you coming off of something? No. Okay, I was just checking. I thought... I've been in the mountains skiing. Right. And I just got really run down, so I have to go back. To Scotland? Yeah. Why on earth would you go when you were so sick? Well, it was a part of a family vacation, ah, I Christmas see. experience, mm -hmm. so I couldn't ruin Christmas. I'm, I have no problem doing that every year. No. <laughs> I like to lose my temper and get hideously drunk in front of the kids. Wow. No, of course not. <laughs> I don't even drink anymore. I lose my temper, though. Over what? No, oh, stupid. I got on that. Like. Just stupid crap. What about you? Do you you lose your temper? You seem very even, sort of. I'm mellow. You're kind of gorgeous, actually. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you really don't. You don't have a temper. <laughs> don't applaud when I say that. It makes me look even creepier. <laughs> you don't. You don't lose your temper. You're very kind of. No, that's why you know movie business is fun. You can act out. Yeah. And then y'all cut, and then it was all pretend. Are you, do you do a lot of yoga? <laughs> no. Are you Is on a set? back to the L.A. thing? Well, maybe, I don't know. Are you, are you very L.A.? Do you, do you eat a lot of kale? I do. Really? You do all that? You, what is the diet everyone's doing? The paleo diet? Do you hear about this? No. You have to eat like a caveman? I'm like, no. fine, you club a bear and chew on it or something? <laughs> no, no processed foods? Well, that I do. Oh, okay. And that makes you calm? It makes you a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of scared and kind of turned on at the same time. But that's the way I am all the time. <laughs> so, we're out of time. Yeah, you fancy an awkward pause, a bit of therapy? What do you fancy? You can twerk with a horse if you want. Uh, that doesn't no. I didn't think you'd want to do that. What's the therapy? Well, you tell me your problems, I'll fix you up. I don't have any problems. Mm hmm That's denial. That's your first problem. <laughs> Everyone has problems. There's no shame in it. There's no shame in it, Diana. I don't have bad problems. Mm hmm Well, I think that's taking a judgment on a good or a bad problem. There's no moral in a problem. A problem is simply a problem. <laughs> so, tell me why you hate America. <laughs> <laughs> they warned me about it. Oh, too. come on. In the best way. No, come on. I think I've laughed on this show more than I've ever laughed on a show. Really? Yeah. Man, you must do some crappy shows, girl. <laughs> yeah. You gotta go. Say goodnight. Charming author, very, very attractive man, really beautiful. I mean, I'm not gay, but I would do him. <laughs> He's an author. He's a columnist for Time magazine. He's a good friend of the show. Joel Stein, everybody, Joel Stein.
Oh. Hey, Joe. That is the nicest introduction I've ever gotten. Yeah, I kind of maybe went a little too far no, with it. And then I no, thought, no, 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 it's no. okay. Yeah, it was very okay. Yeah, did you run into Diana backstage? I said hi. Yeah. And I, got, I, I get awkward around women, and I walked away. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of do that, too. It makes for a very odd show, though. But she had to stay here. She didn't have to stay around me. Yeah, I know, but that's the thing. It makes me feel weird, though, because I think when, you know, women are sitting there, they're very beautiful, and I'm talking to them, I think, God, they really can't wait for this to be over. <laughs> she, she had a little bit of that in her face. Yeah, <laughs> well, you could see it, right? No. She was like, oh, my God, this guy's an idiot. Yeah. No, no, no. What? She didn't think you're an idiot. She just, just what? Didn't like me? No, she liked you. I think she, I don't know. I didn't talk to her. We, I was just standing there. Was yeah, she, yeah, yeah. All right. Thanks, okay. Joel. How are you doing anyway? I'm good. Yeah, you look. Yeah. you look very kind of the uh, '60s kind of secret agent. -ish. I bought a new suit. It looks great. Thank you. Yeah, really nice. I hadn't bought a new suit in a very long time, so a couple months ago, I bought two new suits. This is my first chance to wear one. Well, I th I'm very impressed by it because it, you. It lo you look really like you could have microfilm somewhere. I do. <laughs> Where? It's part of my job as a journalist. To have microfilm. Carry on microfilm. Is there really journalism anymore? No. I th no, I thought it was no. just, it's just all tweets now, isn't it? Yeah, it's mostly yeah. what I do is tweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really just, uh, it's got to be, and that's it? Yeah, I'm organizing, uh, maybe you'll join my union. For yeah, my, sure, what do you want? For my column this week, I'm organizing a uh, Twitter union, because when they IPO, they announce they're having an IPO, I feel like we should get shares, because we tweet. Yes, right? but, but oh, okay. How do they make money, Twitter? Oh, um... How does the internet make money? Yeah, all right then. How does the internet make money? I think they exploit cats and somehow. Ah. That... Yeah, but who pays who? I mean, like, the, in Twitter, like nobody pays. It's right? turtles all the way down, right? Ah, it's just, it's yeah. just advertising, right? Eventually, you have but to buy. Is there advertising it. on Twitter? I haven't seen any. I, have I? I Maybe still I... want shares, even though they have a bad. Right. Okay. Office. I mean, yeah. I'm sure they make a gazillion, you know, dollars a minute, but I don't understand how it works. <laughs> <laughs> you young people frighten me. <laughs> How can you say things and not say them? It's a little bit like that. Yeah, a little bit. This changed your business a lot, don't you? Uh, like, you have a column, though. I do have a column, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so you're all right. You're fine. You're still a proper journalist. Yeah, but how long is that going to last? Not long, no. probably, no. Yeah. <laughs> It's the same with TV. I mean, look, I mean, who the hell's watching this? It's depressing, isn't it? Like, eh, not so much. Okay. Yeah. No, maybe a little bit. It's just change. Change is difficult. But we're like the last ones who are going to get to have these very cool jobs. What, you mean jobs are going to be crap from now on? No, no, but, but the mainstream media is dissipating, so to have, yeah. like, a huge audience, like... <laughs> 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 You're funny. No, I don't know. I, I mean, there's still big audiences for things. People will still watch Honey Boo Boo and the Duck Family thing. <laughs> yeah, I see where you're going. Yeah, it's kind of depressing. Hmm. Do you like... think people were smarter before the I... internet? Yeah. <laughs> I have a feeling that I have, since I got a smartphone, like I had a, I've had a smartphone a few years, I don't know how long, but a few years at least, and I think it's making me stupid. Be because you spend so much time on it? Yeah, because I, like, I have no, no retention of anything. I do, like, uh, instead of reading a book, I'll say, you know, it'll say, it was a bright, cold day in April, and I'll go, oh, April, and I'll Google April and go, yeah, oh, exactly. yeah, it was April. Yeah, April is named after the so, Roman god. Suddenly there's a porn star, his first name is April. Right, and then yeah. it's straight to porn. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big flow chart where everything leads either to porn or cats, right? Yes, yeah. actually, yeah. And that's all we know about anymore. So, in, if evolution exists, <laughs> I mock that you feel a little bit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 So uh, then, in the future, people will only care about uh, sex and cats. That'll work. We'll reproduce like, like cats. <laughs> we'll be fine. Yeah, but what about art and music and uh, haircuts? <laughs> There'll still be haircuts. No, I don't know that there will. I well, yeah, go ahead. I feel like I bummed you out. I didn't mean to come out here and bum you out. No, 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 no. What bummed me out is that I thought Diana was kind of I know, creeped I out by me. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. No, it's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. sure she's writing about you in her diary right now. <laughs> really creepy thing happened today. <laughs> Never go back. <laughs> nah. You're in New York still, aren't you? No, I, I moved here like uh, eight years ago. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> We should hang out more. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, people think the show is shot in New York. 
because of the background. But yeah, because clearly that's New York City. Yeah. I think what happened is that it, people associate on television, you associate nighttime with New York City. Because it's like dark there. Because of the three hour time difference. I think so. I think you just like it, nighttime, night life, that kind of thing. Because in LA, people go to bed at three o'clock in the afternoon. Were you shocked when you moved here? Yeah, everyone goes. I mean, to you're actually like cool, and it probably bothered you. It didn't bother me, but I was shocked that every. every Let's go back to the bit where I'm cool. <laughs> well, if this in real, once people are successful, they all kind of meet and they act like it's normal. But you and I would never talk otherwise. We wouldn't know each other. No. No, you were no. like, you. You spent your youth like drinking and getting in fights and being in a punk band, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Like probably having sex. Oh, many times. Yeah. yeah. I Sometimes with other people. <laughs> <laughs> so, remember, when you applaud, it makes me look creepier. But I you didn't do any of that? <laughs> I was. I was pretty focused on model United, United Nations. <laughs> well, that, that's good. There's one model UN person in the crowd. Yeah. Yeah. Disarmament. <laughs> no, that's, that's good, too. That's, 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 that's good. That's... Yeah, no, but I'm just saying, we, you have a much cooler life. You have tattoos, and you have, you have a whole thing. Yeah, I, I, I think you're projecting a little really? bit. Really? Like yeah. It's not that cool. I mean, I come out here, I talk to an appliance, a horse, not a real horse, and that. <laughs> Jerks applying for other jobs as I'm talking. It's not that good. I mean, look at that fire. It's just cardboard, man. On TV, it looks real. No, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. if it catches your eye, you go, oh, they've got a fire going. And then you go back and go, wait a minute. And then that out there, that's just a drawing of Reno. Last time I was in Reno, I interviewed uh, Joe Francis, who was in jail. And I got to do the thing with the phone and you put your hand on the glass. Oh, I've done oh, that, yeah. Really? Yeah. When did you do that? Never mind. Really? I enjoyed mine. Yeah, I was on the other side of the glass. So. <laughs> that looks rougher. <laughs> nah, I wasn't. Okay, good. For legal reasons. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you were visiting someone? Yeah. Did it go okay? Yeah. Conjugal? I don't know. I've been A little bit, yeah, yeah. I didn't realize it was conjugal, but then about halfway through, I was like, this is conjugal. Uh, That's what jail's like. <laughs> Always a surprise around the corner. Well, we're out of time, Joel. I think we learned a lot. We sure did. Care for a quiet moment? Here's a pipe, it's never been used. No, I swear. Gentlemen, uh, as I throw another log on the fire. <laughs> I'd like you, if you would, to say goodnight to the folks at home and remind them that when they applaud, it makes me more creepy. <laughs>